Hello everyone and welcome back to my franchise mode. Welcome back to Eichenstraße or Oak Street Zoo, our franchise mode zoo. Thank you so much uh, for being with me again. And in case you like the content or you are watching this uh, for a while now and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. That really helps the channel out. And lately we could maintain a little growth that I'm really, really happy about. And also, if you guys have participated in the little giveaway last time, I will be announcing the winner during this video. So make sure to um, yeah stick with me in the commentary and I will be naming the wonderful winner uh, during this video. So um, that's going to be good. I've got a very nice game for you reserved. So in case um, you are the winner, uh, be lucky already, be happy. That's going to be very, very cool. Now, today uh, we have to fix a few things and... Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what exactly we are doing, um, but we will have to look into... Okay, so we still have some issues here with um, escaping animals that are not really escaping. Um, the game just pretends they're escaping. I think there's a little bug at the moment going on. Uh, not too sure what exactly it is. However, our little Asian area is actually not that little anymore, and we are getting to a point where it's like almost finished. However, um, I want to make sure that this uh, second part over here is now finished. So what we still have left is this area um, on this side over here. And we do have the Indian elephant, which is just taking a cozy little mud bath. Well, it's already raining. I'm wondering though, will they get muddy now? And then if they go out, will they be clean again because of the rain? That would be like a detail that would be insane. I mean, it, it didn't get muddy now, right? That's kind of, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Well, you can see um, our guest needs are a little bit better now, but we are still not where we should be. So there is a lot of things we need to do. Um, the problem about this all is that we are coming into a position where it's getting harder and harder to really maintain the level of education, for example, and stuff like that. You know, I was I was putting down a lot of stuff, but it really doesn't help too much because the people are not like where you need them to be um, in, in order to educate them well enough. What we will do today, we will put down a little bit more education and we will also put down a lot more of these educational speakers and then we will try to make like a final um, habitat which I think will be the black bear, the Formosan black bear will be on the other side and I think this will be nice enough for the Asian area. Um, the elephant is about to inbreed, I, I, I better think you don't. Um, so wait, why is it even possible? Do we already have offspring? I kind of don't know how this can be. Did I buy them from the same zoo? I think I did, right? Oh no, that's, that's your shield? That, could you please not? Okay, let's do it that way. There you go. Where's my music, by the way? We need to make sure the music is running. There you go. Sorry, my mistake. Music is running now. Um, <laughs> so we have that. Oh, look at that. The feeder is also... I've, I've never seen them using this one. I think they bounce against it, right? Um, so yeah, no, no, no inbreeding for you now. Um, but I still want to pause the game quickly uh, to have a look where the education goes on first. So, guess uh, education coverage. You can see, yeah, the coverage over here is pretty bad. Um, pretty bad over here as well. Pretty bad in here. I'm not sure if I should put down, but in, in general, I think the overall education should be better filled than it actually is looking but um well i think we will just um put this, this tiger thingy in the middle here as well maybe somewhat like here there you go it's kind of overlapping there too you know what we do i think that could be a cool thing anyways i'm putting that here now and i'm going to make sure that this speaker is having a why is it actually red by the way is it too far away or why is it? Ah, yeah, there you go. Now it's close enough. What I want to do, and this is going to be a little bit of a, of a thing that I wanted to do for a while. Um, we are going to go and just put a metal pole in there um, just to make sure that this is going to be like a speaker design that we can carry through the zoo. Um, where is this? I think I'm going to go like with a normal metal beam. Um, oh, we've, we've got a thinner one over here. There you go. And this is like the Australian... Australian metal beam. So is that tall enough? Yeah, no, that's fine. So that's what we do. And then we kind of make that a little bit nicer by putting some plants around and that should look good. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to select those two. Yep, there you go. And then we should put in a plant because there is this one. Is it in here or is it? I think it's maybe in nature, right? Uh, is it down? Yeah, there you go. These are the, the African hanging ones. That's the one I wanted to use here. Um, it's actually kind of big though. I was hoping it's not that big. I mean, it's okay. We can we can still use that. What about those? Ah, 
Uh, they are they are too big too. Is there like not nothing nothing smaller we can use because they are like pretty damn damn tall. Huh. I mean you you know we have these kind of. I mean that's the size I wanted to go for more likely. Um, okay, so I think we need to do this a little bit of a different way. Um, these things are like all way too big, so we're just gonna go back to construction. And I guess we need to first of all filter for some small pieces. Uh, property. Do, 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 do. Wait, where is it? Uh, small. There you go. Also, let me put the timer next to me. I don't want to make this. I mean, I always say that I don't want to make this too long. But by saying that, I mean I want at least to make sure that we are not going to like two hours. <laughs> uh, you know, that's always like you know, it's it's always around like forty-ish minutes. Uh, that's pretty normal. I think people use these things as kind of planters. These these were absolutely cool as well. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if I ever use these things. I, you know, this is like marked as small, but it's far away from being small. Oh man, is there like anything? Yeah, no, definitely not. I mean, I could definitely do it with these things, you know, that's that's like, I think maybe this is even the easiest thing of doing it, you know, just like having that one here, putting the other one over there, and then, you know what, we, we will do this this way, we will do this this way. Okay, now let me just uh, type in break kit because there are these cool thingies here there you go these are the ones we are using here so um i'm not sure if i want to yeah i think i want to do it that way let's just rotate this one i think we can't no we can't change the color so we are going to use like this you kind of dark -ish green wow uh in them as well that that's gonna look good okay cool and now we're going to put the plants like in here um, and then we will also put like another speaker on top because the other speaker just looks a bit better um, but now let's go to nature first and then we'll need some some kind of cool flowers uh, I like these because they're like you know hanging a little bit on top and then there's also that that one is definitely too big this one is too big too unfortunately what about I mean that works but I don't want to I don't want to use this one. I want to use that one because we will use that as a, hopefully, as the planter, oops, uh, as the mulch in there. Is it completely hidden? Yes, indeed. Oh, wait, no, is it peeking out to the other side? Ah, uh, just a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. We can, we can deal with that, you know. And then just having this little bit of planter here. And I'm not sure if I just, you know, rotate that and have it on the other side too. I mean... How does this look from the bottom part? No, we need something that is actually overgrown, like a little bit hanging to the side. So, I mean, that one could work. What about this? Actually, this is pretty, pretty dang big. Um, isn't there anything smaller? No, that's that's not that's not suitable. These ones are growing too tall. Ah, why isn't there anything? Yeah, that works. That works, guys. This works. This works. We can, I mean, it's not like the plant you would have in here. Some <laughs> needles that would, what about, no, this one is, this one is the choice. Yeah, 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 this is, this is the choice. And now um, we're going to put like a real, real deal. What about these, by the way, are these? No, they were too big too. They were too big too. Okay. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on it anyway. So let's go to speakers and then where is the, there we go. This is the park speaker, right? The music speaker. I mean, I don't want to have music, but it's it's better to just have this kind of thing, even though it's kind of big. Maybe we just keep it the way and we drag that thing a little bit more down and hide that in here. Can I choose the color of that one? The plastic color is kind of getting a green now. There you go. And this is the speaker color. Yeah, let's make it green too. There you go. It's it's per, pretty much hidden in there. I like that. Um, the only thing I don't like is how this looks to the top. So basically we can just go and do some metal kind of stuff if that looks any better, you know. Just having like a... Oh wait, that is uh, not ang... No. Oh god. Rudy, keep clicking the right thing, please. There you go. I wanted to do the Formas and Black Bear. Didn't I say that? Yeah, right. That's not gonna... <laughs> that's gonna work out quite hard. Okay, let's do it this way. Is that like aligned? Yeah. It is, and now I change my opinion and I do this one. Very dark green too. There you go. You, you can't really get this thing super dark, but it's fine. It's fine. And what we what we do here now is we just type in concrete, and then there is this one piece I want to have. This is the small little concrete or stone block. Oh, it's not even concrete. It's stone. 
Um, where's that one? This is the small one. This looks like a nice little footer element. There you go. And now what we obviously can do, we can basically keep these things where we want them. And that is the idea. So we're going to put this down. I think this is now, and the question is, how do I, how am I uh, able to click the speaker easily, you know, without, without clicking that thing? Because I don't want to go in there like always this, ah, whatever. I think it's the, the only way of doing it is it to do it that way. So that's kind of cool. And now we can use this thing basically everywhere where we need it, you know, just plop that thing down here and then, you know, actually what we could do to access the speaker a little bit more easy, I mean, because that is like, it, it looks nice, I guess, but um, it's not like super feasible. So we put it on top. I think that makes life easier for us. And now we choose the snow leopard and let's have a look if it's, yeah, it's blue. So that's good. And now let's have a look if there's any gap we can fill here too. I mean, we could put that here and then this is definitely not going to be, um, this is going to be the common warthog. I think this is working kind of well. And then we just need to make sure that we later on, if I remember, we are going to put like, a, we're going to put like a, a bin in between, you know, uh, this should be also warthog now, right? Is it still, when I copy that is, it, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So we can, we can just choose that thing. I mean, that's all good and stuff because there's just a lake. There's nothing, nothing to see there, you know? Um, but this is kind of uh, getting a bit more in, important over here. The question is, I mean, we don't really need that kind of education because there's no animal here. The only area where we need it would be like here, I guess. We can also put that like a bit closer to the, to the corner. So there you go. And this is definitely like the orang Utan, please. There you go. And then what about what about putting this thing also? I mean, we could put that just simply in the bin here. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really make too much sense, but it's okay. So we have it here. Um, now, what about, I mean, this speaker will be one of our main items we are using throughout the zoo. Um, maybe we can just put another one down here, you know? And then we just say that is the Komodo dragon in case you need that. I have no idea if this is going to help us loads, but um, I'm just willing to use that a little bit throughout now. Um, and we are also going to use this right over here, obviously. Let's have a look. See, there is no educational speaker whatsoever. So we are going to put this one down here and the other one just down. Ah, let's make that one a bit bigger. Okay. So we are just going to select that and oop. Hey, where are we? Okay, so this has no power. We're going to we're going to change this quickly. So this is going to have like a bigger bubble, and then this one is also going to be the oops uh, the Indian elephant. And in terms of power, we actually need to make sure that this area looks. Wait, how is this not powered? If there is this, how? Oh, well then, uh, I gotta I gotta put this power thingy in down. Uh, all right, let's just, okay, so we do have all the facilities in the back here, and I thought, yeah, I think I'm going to make like a little bit of a, yeah, this is, this is the idea. Um, let's put down a few facilities here because we will need them anyways. So what I will do, I will do put down like a little facility area here. I'm going to put like a st large stuff. It's still in the same building. I am stupid. So let's put the big staff room somewhat here. And then we put a big kitchen right like, nah, I think we put it like this. And then we can have like uh, energy supply. It's going to be right here. And I'm not sure if like, what about water though? Okay, this is just about cleaned, so that's fine. But if we do something over here, we don't have it. So I guess we are just putting down a water treatment. Um. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's put it here. Okay, cool. So we've done that. Oh, actually the, no, I think the access is not too bad. Um, so I want to make sure that, whoops, this is like too big obviously, but um, let's just make sure to, yeah, connect there and connect this. Oh, that went, that went smoother than I thought, you know? Um, and this is going to be like a backstage access we have here. We, obviously we're going to cover that up uh, at a certain point. Um, we're just going to connect the pathing path here. Um, so there you go. And this will be then also like backstage. I love how you can see the subtle, subtle changes in terrain over here. I'm not sure how we will do this with the farmers and black bear because I want it to come over to this side, but like on the other hand side, I also want to make sure that this is somewhat nice looking. 
Um, I'm just going to quickly go right over into the Formers and Black Bear thing. And next episode, guys, will be all about um, making sure that we maintain our maintain our achievements, you know, um, which means, in fact, that we are going to make sure that the zoo is doing really good before we expand into another bigger area. Um, so I'm willing to use that again, simply because the blueprint of this thing is just way too good to not use. So we're going to use that here. What is that, though? Oh, I put the sprinkler in there. I mean, I'm, you know, it's fine, but I think I'm going to go and just use this thing now and just kind of make sure that so using that we are creating a bit of a different rock face and it's not looking too copy pasty from the other side. So we are looking into making that look good. I mean, that's going to be like a huge habitat. I think I don't want to make it that huge. So you know what? Scrap that, what I just said. Um, I'm, I'm, using, I'm using this side now. Wait, like this. And then, oops, because this has like the nice little rock formation on the left. And then I'm going to put that down here. I think that's going to be way enough for the Formers and Black Bear. I'm going to delete a lot more of these things here. And um, I'm willing also to put them down like a cave. You know, they will get a cave. So I will put most of it uh, in, in the right position. So I'm going to, you know, just make that. But then again, they will get like a nice little cave. And I think... I want the guests to see the cave somehow, so the cave will be, the cave will be just over here, you know. Oops, uh, that should be a bit bigger. So there you go. This is where they, where they will be able to go into the cave, you know. Just making sure it looks a little bit more realistic this time. The other caves I made so far, they're all looking a bit like weird, um, and I don't want this to be looking weird. So we're just making sure that this is going to be their little cave and I also want to drag that a little bit over here so that you go and then what we will do uh, we are just going to use a little bit of this stuff and we're just going to plop that next to it so that it kind of gets a bit of a connection to it and do I have like a little bit of a let me just take the lower stuff here um, you know that should be fine and I want to make sure that this all is kind of you know uh, going nicely into each other. I'm going to delete this thing and then I'm going to use that one because it just has this cool little uh, flat surface to it, which I do like. And then we obviously make sure that this like looks a little bit more integrated. Um, and I'm going to switch that song. I really don't like it. I have to throw it out of the uh, playlist. It's not really fitting too much the City Zoo vibe anymore. I don't know why it was in anyways from the first in the first place, but uh, it is the way it is, I guess. So let's just... Um, Make sure that the landscaping is almost done. And then we'll do already kind of the, sorry for that, um, the little bit of uh, terrain painting here that is definitely needed. So there you go. I want to keep this a bit more grassland on the top. I'm going to drink a little bit here, guys. My, my voice is starting to break in a bit. I will also announce the winner mm, of the competition. I still have to do that. You know, I don't forget. Um, I do have this in my mind, so don't, don't worry about this. After the cave is done, I will I will definitely do this. So um, the cave gets obviously a lot more soil in there. You know that's what you what you have anyways. So just a little bit more soily ground here. There you go, and the rest in there will be pretty much rock. So there you go. Um, can I delete this one? Yeah, no, that was not too much of a problem. So that's kind of cool. So they have their little cave there. I think they they will definitely like it. Um, and then. We can also do the barriers. Before we do the barriers, I do the announcement who won. So the winner of the game is Sunset TV. Uh, no, it's actually Sunset V. I think it's Sunset TV, Suns, whatever. It's written S-U-N-S-E-T-V. And if you are uh, here and you're listening, please make sure that you are sending an email to me to rudy.rencamel at googlemail.com. Put, uh, dot com. Um, I want to say in German. Anyways, um, or at gmail.com, it doesn't matter. And then uh, just claim that you have heard it and that you are the lucky winner. I will also now comment down below that you won. Um, no, I don't, I don't do this now because that makes no sense. I will do it after the video if I remember and you haven't noticed that. Okay, I will do this. I'm, I'm a good boy. I will do this. Anyhow, okay, so this is, this is done. Um, we will do a new competition in the next episode. Uh, don't you worry about that. We are 19 minutes in. That's all good. So now we are looking to make this habitat uh, is, you know, more or less finished. So what we do, first of all, we need the entrance gate, which is going to be here. Yeah, it's, it's here. It's, it's there. Yes, yes. I was a bit confused for a second. Um, no, we're just going to put this here. And then what we will have to do, we will have to put like a fence 
to right over here. So that should be good. And then we, we will actually also put the fence around here so it goes a little bit into the wall it doesn't matter we will put something else there to make it look good um, i think they cannot really jump that high or whatever so we don't need to look too much into this um, we're gonna just make sure that they can cannot escape via this area here but that's i think that's all we need to do and then what we will do else we will also make sure to um yeah that's the that's the right mode we just go up the hill and then in the back here as we did it with your orangutans they will actually get like a wall because that's like also how real zoo would uh real zoos would do it we just make sure that uh you know the the guests can't see all this madness going on in the back here so uh, you know we just keep that inside of the habitat let's just do it a little bit bigger it doesn't really matter if it's too big you know it's just like making sure that the guests can't see it uh, and then we just go in here and we just go further with the invisible fence until we are down here which is where i want to make sure that we have like a proper fencing going on um no we don't need this we will we will use the asian fence uh, just to make sure to use that over here and then we basically connect this here to the elephant habitat that's good and i think to myself uh, <laughs> what a wonderful world yeah but also how do we i think it makes sense to just bring that one right over here and from here we definitely need this wall again um which is a bit, bit of a problematic thing now i'm not sure what exactly i'll use here uh, but i want to make sure that this is not going to look too crazy tall so what i want to do is just curl that around here a little bit and then curl this around the tree and then the question is i mean they won't be able to escape through there but they will be able to escape through here so what we need to do is anyways we need to bring this down already then we can also keep that low there you go and now i can basically connect this which is great um still not sure if they will be able to escape here but that's 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 a different story and then we will lower this area here all down something like that and maybe even here i'm not sure if they can jump over it we will we will see i'm, I'm not an expert on on jumping bears you know um and now we'll make this like a window here as well Let's put that a window and we make it one side, which is the wrong side. And then we need to face it in the other direction. Thank you very much. So this is this is cool, you know, um, but we will definitely, as always, use this wonderful wall over here. I remember that we used wooden pieces that they cannot climb on, which I guess is a good thing. And then we will use this throughoutly. Uh, just to make sure that they cannot escape. I think I like the fact that we are here. We can actually make also like a little bit of a like a gate here. I'm, I'm going to steal the gate from the panda habitat to just have a little gate here. I think that that's gonna look good uh, if we put that here. And then we make the same uh, to this side. We're just gonna cover up the wall a little bit. I think that's gonna look all great and so. The only question I have, okay, so we, we have to change the thing a little bit so that this looks a bit better. There you go, that's better. Is it also covered from both sides? Because I'm, yeah, it is. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, the only thing is I, <laughs> I put them the wrong way around because I want this stylish uh, side to be visible for the guests. The animals don't need the details. I mean, not that they don't need to, but they don't get them, okay? So <laughs> it's, it's simple as that. And um, I'm gonna put this like this, and then we have this little kind of wall coming out of here. That's fine. I mean, it looks it looks a bit weird. I'm I must admit it looks a bit weird. So we're just going to pull that a little bit further like this. Yeah, that looks better. And then we can also try and make. Oops, no, we just undo this. Okay, so we keep it that way. Um, and what I want to do now, I think it is ah, it's one piece. Ugh. Okay. Um, just to make it look a bit better, I'm going to try and make sure that this looks like a roof that goes over here. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be looking a bit weird. I already know that because the turn the turn here is too tight to really make it look good. So I'm trying my best, okay? I'm trying trying my best to make that look good with the pieces available here. I think it, looked, it doesn't even look that bad. I think it's fine. <clears throat> I mean, except that piece in the middle, but that it's it's just the way it is. I mean, what we could do, we can just still split that from the group and just push that further to the back. And then do the same here, just to make sure that the front looks a bit better. Ah, whatever. We keep it that way. I think it looks fine enough. You know, it looks good enough. Um, what we will do here is we're going to make our little 
little trick. I mean, we, actually, in this... The question is, do we actually need to... Uh, we can actually use the 4 meter path here. I wanted to make it like the, sm uh, the smaller one, but why? I mean, it, it works, so... There was one little area where it worked. No, 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 no. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw it getting... Wait. There you go. It was... There you go. I, I saw it working, so... You know, this this is something cool. Okay, I, I wonder if, if it makes sense to just use that, you know, as if... I think I like that. I think I like this a lot. Uh, we will make this all a bit more grass textured now. So there you go. And we will put like a lot of plants down. I'm not sure if I go with this path though. Maybe, maybe it looks better to... Yeah, that's definitely the better Asian little path we have over here. That's good. That's good. Let's just also steal a few of those things we have because like this is the perfect spot to also have some of these uh, little uh, umbrellas and canopies and stuff. You know, that all looks good. What about this? Ah, okay, it's part of it. I mean, would have been nice to have this canopy here in as well. Uh, I think I'm going to bring this here. I'm going to bring this here. And I'm not sure exactly what piece I'll put in the middle though. Um, I mean, I could kind of... Can I split the... I think I can split the whole thing, right? I mean, if I if I copy this over now, and there you go. Can I, this is weird. I just want to make sure that this is one building now, okay? So this is uh, unnecessarily split. I don't know why I did this, but this is like almost the middle. Put it on top, and then I should actually be able to just put these things together, right? Yes. Awesome. So this is now the canopy, and we can just basically put two of them in here. Uh, the fruiters are. Is it that tall? I think I want to have it. I don't want to have it that tall. I will I will move this all down a, a bit. Oh, it's also because of the... Ah, yeah, well, never mind then. We'll skip that a little bit over here then. Because of the... I'm not sure why this one has no fruiter though at all. Um, that looks a bit weird. It's kind of aligned to the... Ah, uh, it's a bit tricky. It is a bit tricky. I'm... I'm not... I'm not gonna... Okay, so, well, let's, let's undo it because... This is not the right thing. We need like a middle pole here. That looks definitely better if we have like a middle pole. And um, I think it's easier to just do it. To just, you know, make like sure that we have, let's say a pillar. And then we use the plaster one. I think that should be totally okay. If we use this plaster one in here. There you go. Do we have anything to kind of, you know, make it look a bit nicer? Just put that one in the middle and then even though it's Indian, I think it looks nice if we have like a little bit of, yeah, why not? And then what about this? This is more like for the lower part. That looks weird. That looks weird. So what about these other pieces? Yeah, that works. And then we can also just like, oh wait, that is not angle snapped. Uh, is there like anything else? Okay, this one works as well. Yeah, that looks good to me. That looks good to me. So we have it, we have it twice, okay? We put it here and we put the other one just right over here. Good. So like that looks that looks good to me. We have it in. I don't even know why I did this here. It's not like okay, whatever. It's about this habitat for now, okay? I'm still doing my stuff and I didn't want to. Anyways, let's do bam I'm not in wait, I am in nature. Oh, that's why. Bamboo. Because this is going to be an Asian area and you have to be all over bamboo. Always. Is there like a bit of a space where we can plop it down? Yes, we can plop it down here. And then we need some thinner stuff to make sure that this looks good. I would love to have this one, but this like a actually it's not too long. We can use that in the middle too. Lovely, lovely stuff. I'm gonna drag this a little bit more down because I want. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. I want to make sure that they have to go here to watch the animals, and then on the other side it's the elephants. You know, just separate that from each other uh, because sometimes this is kind of weird if you don't do this. And yeah, we're just gonna put rock in the middle here, and then I want some some lower stuff like i'm not sure if i can use the bushy now that's not good but like this can i i mean that looks good for over here you know just put some lower stuff down just like a little bit more overgrown and then we will put some actual stuff in there as well uh some actual 
grass will be the thing you know that's kind of nicely grown in the corner good and then let's just undo this and we just put in biome nope uh continent is just asia okay so we just want to have asia here uh just to make sure that i have some of the relevant plans for me i mean I'll, again i love the bracken as like a gap filler thingy so i think it fits asia as well and we will use a lot for the foamers and black bear as well because that looks really cool i just recently did this in uh some other stuff I did um, in my secret project, and I just kind of, kind of felt uh, it looks way better than um, I thought in the in the past. So I will use the bracken a lot more now because it's really cool to just make it look all so much more natural by just having the the bracken just like be there, uh, grow all over, and you know just just as a little bit of a not even gap. I don't want to call it gap filler. It's just make it look more natural. So the farmers and blackbear can climb so they just get this oh actually you know what i want to have this tree like sitting over here i love them to be cl uh, climbing over here just in front of the guest i think that would be nice um and then let's see what we can oops uh, what we can use as a little ground stuff here i think yeah, yeah 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 that's that's exactly what we need while this is a bit too big can we yeah this is the barberry what's that the yeah bearberry bush the bearberry bush that's for German that's weird because it's it's actually the bear bear bush if you want um, because in German like berry and bear is like the same even though it's also different like it's also written differently but kind of if you pronounce that the way it's bear bear you know it's the same as bear berry I don't know forget what what I just said it's it's kind of the same as in English <laughs> uh, cool so yeah we have like a little bit of this stuff here just make sure that this all looks a bit more natural actually i have to say that this project is looking <laughs> it's starting to look way better than i ever imagined a um simple franchise mode could look i mean the whole asian area looked super themed and kind of really cool <laughs> i'm really still surprised can we have some of these mossy bigger rocks here kind of like bringing a bit of a mossy stuff down that could look good and then we have some some kind of reed in here as well just make it look a bit more because that's like a very kind of yeah soaky area is not the right word but it's like really a lot, lot of water going on here so that makes sense to have this kind of stuff here um is there anything else like a bit of a more floral stuff i mean we can have this this maple tree i like this one but it's not like in this zoo it doesn't really fit so ooh, what's that though that's no ah that's a normal oak tree wait This one is confusingly different from what I have in my mind. Wait. That's not the oak tree I usually use, is it? I think we basically don't have that. No. I mean, we used... Ah, but it's looking super good, to be honest. Which one do I use? I think I use the smaller one. But I love that branch. It's really cool. Like we have some some bigger ones that makes the whole area look so much better already. this is a freaking fantastic thing I, sorry I'm, I'm just fanboying a little bit about the oak tree right now uh that's something new but <laughs> it's i mean it it looks cool so we have done all that you know we don't need to make more over here what we need to do though is gonna whoops i'm gonna steal some donation boxes here just quickly how much time it's 32 minutes that's very decent you're still okay that's still the mating process which should not happen um and it will not happen because i gave some uh you know uh how's this called the uh oh god i forgot the word uh contraceptives that's the word i'm gonna put like another one here we need bins bins and benches because bins are uh, still uh, it seems too less in the zoo oh, it's so crazy let's put another one here one here one here just spamming the bins everywhere i don't know these guests are insane. They just throw... Like, if there's, like, an area of, of two meters where there's no bin, the guests are like, I'm gonna put my litter right here, okay? So, <laughs> this is how they do it. Uh, yeah, here, whatever. Just take the bin, put it in. I don't care. Okay, we've done that. And uh, now, like, this is, like, the last little bits over here we have to fix. There you go. And now, I want to make sure that we have already typed in... And I hope that I nailed it from the get-go. That would be really cool. Just put like a little bit of a toy here. And then we can have some frozen fruities just in here already. And then um, we can give them... 
this little thing as a toy on this side. We put the food right, right over here. I don't want them to be annoyed by the guests, so we can put this there. Um, and then we put like the, even though that's not um, meant for this one, but I like this so much that I put this right down here because if they eat, they should be a little bit over here secured. I think that's fine. They get this thing. How do we, and where do we put, I think it's nice to have that over here. You know, that should be fine. And then they have so much. Uh, I think they have some, yeah, the pipes. They should be able to get there. And the wind, uh, wow, you guys explained me how to pronounce that. I forgot. I think it's, I think it's Sheems. Um, but I, I don't know if that's still right. I am not sure. Okay, so what we also need is sleeping. Sleepy, sleepy. We're going to put this bedding down here. I hope it's not going to transform the, no, it's not going to transform the, it did come. <laughs> I hate this. I hate it so much. Can we just not destroy i'm still not sure why it needs so much space i mean it's kind of making sure that it doesn't work too crazy but okay yeah whatever it's done now and it's fine and i i, I could pull it back a little bit more so that they're actually sleeping in the dry that's fine it didn't destroy too much that's good okay let's get the animals in um before we hit play again and this message is really annoying me um so no i I don't want the Indian elephant. Uh, I want the farmers and black bear. I'm not sure if we do have... Wait. This is not... This is my animal storage. Game. What are you doing? So we have still loads of animals, but uh, not the ones we need. We have like our uh, giant panda. Um, why? Oh, okay. This is why. The fatality is not great. We've got two black jags, which is cool. A lot of uh, giraffes. We don't have a giraffe exhibit in here with a... Western Lowland Gorilla. Why is it in here, though? It's like a baby. I can put it back in the habitat. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's go for the Formerson Black Bear. What is... Okay, nothing is there. In so, F. F for Formerson Black Bear. F for... Am I stupid? I think I am. E, F, G. There you go. Formerson Black Bear. Filter. I think it's, yeah, that's an animal that not too many people want, so that's fine. I think, oh, wow, 10,000, are you kidding me? Um, 10.4 years old, longevity is not a... I want to go for, like, a few younger ones, okay? Um, because I want to have a little bit of fun with them. So, yeah, 512 is okay. And okay, let's do this. That's that's not a good one. That is a great one. So, we've got those two. Not the same zoo, right? That was... And, oh wait, uh, wait, which zoo is this? Um, this was from Carlo Tasso, if I pronounce that correctly. And this is Arcadia Zoo. No, that's fine. Okay, so we've got those two. And then they have like a very nice habitat. You can actually argue also that the zoo over here just developed over time. And since we have built very cramped and very um, efficient and very small in the beginning, the Asian area might potentially be, in terms of the story, the first area that has been has been made with a little bit more budget, you know, and uh, also looked a bit more into conservation and uh, making sure the habitats are just what the animals need. So um, I could imagine that this is exactly what it is. Now, um, yeah, we have all these messages still, which is all the facilities broken down. I employed a lot more of the wonderful uh, mechanics and I also did upgrade all of them, like I trained them, but I think it still uh, needs a lot more. So let's just employ another keeper. And then we will use this keeper to create a new work zone, which is going to be right over here and here, because I've got no clue if all the facilities we need are there. So we're gonna call that like Formosan Black Bear. Orangutan, oh, that's good. We need more orangutan babies, that is good. So we've done that, this is good. Um, the animal has been delivered. Now we have to check immediately if it can escape. It can't, but it cannot also not go up into the mountains, which is a pity. So we are going to change that by hopefully making this. And I think this could already help our Formosan Black Bear to get there. Yeah, that's a lot better already. It still can't get to the pipes um, and can't really climb up there, which is a bit of a pity. Space is not perfect yet, but we will get there. Terrain is not perfect yet, we will get there. So space-wise, we should not have too much of an issue when uh, deleting some of the rocks. They seem to be very crazy when it comes to movement. So what we will do, we'll just 
um, push a few things back here. So hopefully they will be then able to move up the up these areas a little bit more nicely. So what I'm going to do is I just delete some of the rocks here. So there you go. Just making sure that this works. And then, I mean, they're still okay. They won't like immediately die, that's fine. Um, also what I want to do now is I want to make sure that they have like a bit of a nice area up here. So this is going to be a bit more tricky, but I will actually raise the terrain so that I can flatten this on this layer here. So hoping that they will then be able to move a bit better on, on here and then just kind of paint this all into some more like this. And then we are going to use the uh, climbable lock here to connect this. So I'm really hoping that this works. Uh, let's pull that over. So let's have a look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag this all the way down, make the angle very accessible for them. And then I, I do the same like from over here, just like this and then this one is getting a bit more of an angle to it, like that. And I'm gonna scrap this rock over here, just because I can. Okay, let's have a look if this already helped them to maybe get there. Yeah, lovely, look at that. And also the space now is, I mean, space is actually funny enough that space is uh, not crazy enough because they can't use it so good. Oh, they can use this big tree. I love that, that's something I do love. Um, so we have way too less um, short grass and way too much long grass, which uh, is, is kind of obvious. We always have that issue. So we just paint all the back here in normal grass. Actually, we can also, you know what we can do? They, they are very needy when it comes to soil. So we're just going to paint this all soil here. Um, this is all the stuff we can't see anyway. So I'm going to paint all of that. So great grass long is done. Uh, and now we have to just use grass short, which is, um, you know, I want to keep this river the way it is. Um, now, how do we get all this short grass done? I think intensity goes higher and now I need to make sure that we have a lot more short grass. I'm, I'm willing to make sure that the short grass is... Okay, you know what we can do? We can pull the short grass down here if we need. Because I think I'm quite happy with how it looks so far. Yeah, there you go. I was super happy with how it looked uh, so far. So I wanted to keep the terrain painted. Oh, animal died. Koala's about to inbreed. No! Did it already do it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Now, yeah, well, we keep it the way it is then. Yeah, I guess we are really, like, cleanliness disease risk. What? Okay, but why are you just not cleaning that then? Because we do have enough keepers to do that. Like, there's just, like, a keeper over here. Why are you not just poofing it, huh? Why are you not poofing around here? You're basically not doing anything, right? Yeah, and maintenance. How about... How about always? How about always? I mean, you're just standing right over here. Just just use that poofy thing and do it. Look at the baby. Look at the baby Roo. Ah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, the koala is expecting offspring. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> okay, so um, animal died. Is it out of old age? Yeah, okay. Um, that was a female, right? We just have to check if we still have enough animals to... Male, baby male, female, female. Yeah, that's fine. We can still get some babies. That's good. We need to create a big orangutan family, guys. We need to. Okay. Disease discovered. So, you're... I hate you. I hate you, game. I just hate you. I mean, a second before, this is totally, no, this is so unnecessary. Like seriously, why? Why? I mean, th this keeper was standing in this freaking habitat for like 10 hours before it was like, yeah, maybe, you know, I'm gonna poof now. What? It makes no sense. Okay, guys, we are done. The Formison Black Bear habitat is done and I am quite happy with it, to be honest. It looks really dang cool, and yeah, I mean, for 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 what it is, it, 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 just a franchise mode in 40 minutes, it looks, huh, it looks really cool. Oh, look at that! I lo I love that they're using it. Where do they climb though? I wanna I wanna see where they go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do do your Michael Jackson thing, and then oh, it's just pooping from over there. <laughs> but I love the fact that it's like in the tree. I mean, is it just going there to poop? I mean, I. I kind of appreciate that they have like a perfect 
area to go to poop, but still. Oh my god, it looks so cool, guys. It looks really good. So the Formos and Blackberry is done. It's all in this Asian Valley. Oh my lord, the Asian Valley is really, really cool. I think we're just making a tour next episode, guys. I think that's, that's what we do, okay? So until then, have a good time, and uh, I call it a day. In case you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, whatever, you know the drill. Uh, this would help me out a lot. And uh, just remember, still over half of the people watching my videos ongoing have not subscribed to the channel so you have a job to do i am very confident you guys do it i really do appreciate all your efforts <laughs> and now have a good time stay safe everyone in these weird times and goodbye